What up, y'all? It's your man, Fat Boy, checking the fuck in. We're going to do something different this time. So I, I listened to about half of this most recent interview between Norbs and Cassidy. And I'm just sitting back. I tried to appreciate it for what it is. Just more battle rap content. Just another interview. No big deal. And then just move on with my day. But I made it through about half of that shit before I just realized, like, I can't even listen to this dog shit no more. This shit was trash. It's trash, bro. Norbs is just telling a whole bunch of lies and saying random shit and just trying to run with different narratives. So this is what I did. I screenshotted some conversation, and then I'm going to comment after each clip. I'm going to play y'all a clip, and then I'm going to comment on it and tell you what I don't like about it and tell you why I think it's fucked up or whatever the case may be. So bear with me. Let's get into this shit. Here come the first clip. You've gotten so many different eyes. Um, all these bloggers that are attacking you, you're getting them way more views. So your impact has been felt. And, and for a lot of these people to deny that is ridiculous. I bet Norb's $100. He can't find one blogger or one video any fucking way of somebody saying Cassidy didn't do good promotion leading up to this battle or that he didn't impact the culture with his promotion. Because you just saying shit, Norb's. Nobody has fucking said that. And you're trying to attack the bloggers. Let's be clear. You keep saying the bloggers. What bloggers are you watching, my nigga? Are you only talking about Ben Swayze? Shout out to Ben. Are you only talking to OG3? Shout out to 3. Are you only talking about them? Because they're the only two names you keep referencing. Stop saying the bloggers. If you have an issue with two people in particular, say names. I'm tired of y'all niggas just saying the bloggers like it's everybody you got a problem with if you don't got a problem with it stop being pussy and say niggas names bro that shit's whack listen a lot of these bloggers are like throwing parades it's like a national holiday they're out there saying cassidy lost like and, and i told people a lot of these guys had preconceived no notions basically that you were gonna lose and they weren't gonna watch it with an open mind okay so here we go again with the a lot of these bloggers bullshit no let me ask you a question you saying we came into this shit with a preconceived notion of how this battle was going to play out and we didn't have an open mind. You talking about having an opinion on who's going to win? Don't everybody have an opinion on who's going to win each and every fucking battle we always watch, bro? What the fuck are you talking about? And it's like, okay, are you trying to say that niggas is biased towards Cassidy if they don't have him either winning the battle or admit that he did good? Like, you just saying shit that don't really make any fucking sense. So we got to agree with Cassidy or say he did good or won the battle or whatever to consider us having an open mind. We not allowed to feel like he didn't do that good. Because the motherfuckers walking out of the room seem to indicate that he wasn't doing that fucking good. A lot of these bloggers, a lot of these rappers. So let's not act like there was nobody in there. That was hating because it happened to John. You're going to tell me it didn't happen to John? You know what I'm saying? Not to mention. Oh, I'm, I'm not kidding at all. It's 100% true. Now, I'm not saying that Cassidy would have won if he would have got his third round off or not. But what I am saying, I'm stating the facts. They did not let Cass rap in round three. Norms. Why the fuck are you trying to spin this shit like Cassidy stood up in front of a crowd full of only bloggers and only battle rappers? It was fans that paid money to come to this event, remember? You know, in the hometown where this nigga live at now of Atlanta. You know, URL fans that fly in or drove into town to watch this fucking event. You know, regular fucking people, like regular folks. Who just paid their hard-earned money to come see this event. But you making it seem like, oh, it was like, you know, 2,000 bloggers and battle rappers in the room. And they just came there to boo Cassidy and they just made the decision that they didn't want to hear shit he had to say. How dare you compare this shit to what the fuck John John did? John John did something to get himself booed. The only thing Cassidy did to get himself booed was spit that garbage that he called fire. That shit was trash. But I do believe a lot of people pre had premeditated 
uh, premeditated opinions of whatever was going to go on. They were walking in there ready to boo. They were in, like, and I'm talking about bloggers, and they were ready to pounce on them from the get go. Anything Cassidy was going to say was going to be looked at under a microscope. Everything. Are you making it seem like bloggers just walked in the building fully prepared to boo, like niggas was in the house drinking tea, stretching, getting warmed up for a long night of booing? Like, fam, how many bloggers was even in the fucking building? Six, maybe? Eight, maybe? At fucking best? And you spinning this shit to make this nigga feel good. Like, like the whole battle rap world just walked in this building booing this nigga. That's not what the fuck happened. That nigga came out on stage after... What battle was that? That nigga came out on stage after Tay Rock and K-Shine. And they was more than ready and warmed back up after that battle for Cassidy to come out. When that nigga came out first, the crowd erupted. They couldn't wait for this nigga to rap. And they showed him love the whole first round. How are you sitting up here saying that everybody in the crowd was just fully prepared to boo this nigga for anything? Yeah, he gonna get judged under a fucking microscope. You sat up here and talked cold cash shit about 3 0 a nigga. What you think people gonna think? You can't talk crazy like that and expect nothing to come out of it after you done talk like that. So regardless of the stunt they tried to pull or what they tried to do or the hate they had in their blood for me, you could feel it. Mm -hmm. They knew Goods was dead after the first round, and that's why they started extra cheering for the goofy shit he was saying mm -hmm. and started extra trying to boo me and not even give me a chance to rap. Okay, so let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. For the first time ever in battle rap history, they started booing the nigga who was doing good in the first round because the nigga who didn't do that good in the first round needed some love. So they started cheering for goods because he was dying, even though what Cassidy says is goods was saying a bunch of trash, right? So they started cheering for the trash and started booing you to make it what, even? To make it balance? Like, Cassidy, what the fuck are you talking about, nigga? What are you talking about right now? Niggas was there, know what the crowd was. Niggas felt the energy. Niggas know how it was going down. Niggas know it was niggas there since nine in the morning till Facts. late late at night, just standing up, uncomfortable and weird positions. They ain't like the situation, so they mm -hmm. was ready to boo anyway. It was just a weird situation. But I ain't use making no excuses because I bodied the nigga. Mm -hmm. Like it's clear as day, he couldn't out rap me. I just went in his environment, popped the most shit. Told niggas I was gonna go in there and cook. This nigga just say, did this nigga just say he not gonna make no excuses? But you sitting up here trying to explain why the crowd was acting the way the crowd was acting. You wouldn't have to explain the fucking crowd if you was spitting fire. If you was talking that shit that niggas wanted to hear, you wouldn't have to explain the crowd doing anything. Goods don't seem to be explaining shit. So why is Cassidy having to explain shit? Okay, so for the same five hours they stood outside to watch Goods, it was the same amount of five hours they stood outside to watch you. So you think they just decided to boo Cassidy because they mad at the five hours they stood outside? Like, I'm not getting this nigga's logic on what the fuck the crowd standing outside got to do with the shit. The nigga is so much fucking denial that they just wasn't feeling your shit that he just saying any fucking thing. You sound like norms now. Like, both of you niggas is delusional. Both of you niggas is crazy. That's why y'all having such a good-ass fucking buddy-buddy time on this fucking interview. Both of you niggas sound stupid. So they just boo Cassidy for, for no fucking reason whatsoever. This nigga up here talking about camels and shit and Garfield and David Copperfield. All this shit that's outdated that don't nobody want to fucking hear. This nigga realized that shit was getting bad. He quit his second round. And you come back in the third round popping the same dumbass shit. Like, this nigga don't realize that it ain't about just rapping, my nigga. You stood there pacing in circles saying a bunch of shit that niggas don't know what the fuck you talking about. Are you battling goods or are you telling us all the trips you went on? You was talking a bunch of bullshit, my nigga. What part of this is this nigga not getting? Like, apparently he not getting none of it. But the point is, like, just stop talking this dumbass shit, fam. Whoever they get to want to battle me, 
and get the money up for it, then I'm ready. I told niggas they could have put them niggas on the stage with goods. Because that's what it felt like anyway. They felt like they was all on stage together anyway. So you feel they like... They might as well got on stage and all rap together. Why not? <laughs> so you feel like they, they, they basically... They cheering together and trying to direct the crowd together. So why y'all ain't all just rap together? It's the same shit. So you really believe the URL Avengers assembled? That's what you feel right now? I love the movie, by the way. Yeah, that's what I felt like. That's what I felt like. You ain't see the face off? Okay. Now, let's address this piece by piece. First of all, my nigga... First of all, stop referencing this nigga as Thanos. That's a bunch of garbage. That's the first thing. Secondly, this URL rollout that these niggas had for the face-off between Goods and Cassidy, low-key has now backfired because now that gives this nigga something to run with in the event that he now lost. He got this whole rollout of everybody was against him. Now, let me break this down piece by piece for y'all. Pay close attention. Notice how this nigga said, that that's how it felt it felt like all them niggas was against me anyway they was all directing the crowd okay for one you know goddamn well no handful of battle rappers in the front of the stage was not orchestrating the fucking crowd and telling them how the fuck to feel about the material you was delivering the shit was trash my nigga it was just trash ain't no way around it keep trying to make it the way you feel like you was spitting fire and I believe you feel that way because you got to be that crazy to think that shit. But here's the thing. This is the part I'm trying to get to. Not only was they not directing the crowd, but that was your own fucking nerves eating at you. That was your own fucking anxiety eating at you. Seeing these niggas, you would talk all this shit about being the goat and all this other dumb ass shit. And them niggas being right in front of you, watching your every fucking move. You felt the fucking pressure. You felt the pressure. That's why I felt like all them niggas was on stage against you. You realized you wasn't living up to the fucking hype and shit started to crumble and you started feeling like everybody was against Cassidy. Yeah, when you spitting a bunch of bullshit, that's typically what happens, my nigga. So, yeah, everything you feeling is a legit feeling, but it's different. It's not what you saying it is. You feeling the pressure. That's all niggas been trying to tell you and you've been hard-headed this entire time thinking that you just going to talk shit to everybody and everybody just going to roll with it. And now when it's time to deliver, you can't deliver, my nigga. Should have stopped running your mouth so much and listened to somebody. In that, in that, that vibe that was there, you know what I mean? They mm -hmm. know that a nigga blacked out. They know a nigga deserved more respect, more cheers. They just wanted to give me a hard time because they know they all went through hard times and they want me to feel what they felt. You know what I'm saying? They knew I was popping too much shit. I'm undefeated. I'm unschemed. I've never been touched. I've never been hurt. I never lost. I'm undefeated. Y'all lost. That's how I was talking. So niggas want me to feel like them. Like, nah, you got to feel what it feel like to lose or get booed. So they created that energy. But it still didn't work. I still won. Because when you go to all of the polls, the world know I won. And the whole world ain't even get to see it. So when more of the world see it, which is more of my fan base, because mm -hmm. basically Good's whole fan base seen it already. It's just my <laughs> fan base that ain't really see it. So once my fan base see it, then you're going to really see how lopsided the views. It's the last clip of this video I'm going to speak to because I couldn't even stand to watch no more of this shit. All the lies, all the delusional shit, and just saying shit that don't make no fucking sense. Like, I just stopped watching this shit, bro. But for some reason, this nigga seemed to think that once his fans vote on a poll, that's what's going to tell the difference. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? How, how does that make you feel like you won because your fans told you you won? They're your fucking fans, bro. And this nigga sitting up here saying that niggas is DMing him because they feel bad about starting that situation that, that they created by making the fans boo him and shit like the nigga said he deserved more cheers because he was out there he was up there blacking out well, what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> i know you heard the booze i know you seen what was happening and then you were standing up there looking all sad and shit and looking all disappointed like you knew what the fuck was happening we tried to tell your ass nigga it's not a fucking concert Everybody ain't going to just agree with what the fuck you standing up there saying. If you're not battling, then you just rapping. And just rapping ain't good enough. We kill Big K for the same shit. Niggas kill Calico for the same shit. For just fucking rapping. Niggas don't want to really hear that shit. 
So if you if you're not doing no more than just rapping, fam, then this is exactly gonna happen every fucking time. You need to listen to niggas. Like when niggas try to warn you, fam, you ain't wanna know, bro. You just wanted to be crazy ass Cassidy who run his mouth and shit. And then when niggas is telling you now you lost, you don't understand why. Like you're not even can't even fathom the idea that you lost that battle while you standing up there getting booed. <laughs> I'm gonna say the battle rappers did it. The battle rappers did it. They set you up, and Norbs is helping you to believe that it was all bloggers and battle rappers in the crowd booing Cassidy. Man, there's some sad ass shit, man. That shit, man, fat boy signing the fuck out, man. I'm off this shit. I just hate listening to stupid ass shit. But I'm out, yo. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same. Please don't unplug the game.